is Bob Joyce Elvis Presley. Where's Jesus, Elvis? Find Jesus. <laughs> he can do it. Where's Jesus, Elvis? Is Elvis? Is Elvis? Is Elvis? The endless coincidences. Things people ask is, you know, what would he be doing now, or, or you know, what would his life be? And I, I think, you know, Elvis, is, Elvis would always be a part of music, no matter what. I mean, it was in his blood. I think that maybe he'd be going into gospel, preaching a little bit. He loved to have, you know, he loved to teach and, you know. And Elvis wanted her to have everything. Because he didn't really know. He, no, he too grew up very, very poor. Yeah, Paul. And, and it's exactly what he said the other day. I remember when I was a little kid, we was downtown with my family. We was poor and we lived in the government projects. I was about, you know, I was about nine, ten years old. I went down to the men's room, walking along there, I looked down there on the floor, and there was a twenty-dollar bill down on the floor. I reached down there. I didn't go to the needed to say I didn't go to the men's room. I ran right back upstairs. I said, "Mama, mama, 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 look right." She said, "Hide that thing under the floor." There's substantial evidence suggesting that Elvis Presley staged his own death to escape the clutches of the Mafia. It's not just a rumor anymore. It's backed by compelling incidents. Witnesses saw a black helicopter hovering near his home Graceland shortly before his reported death on the toilet. Dr. Donald Hinton disclosed that he treated Elvis for five years after his supposed passing. Is Elvis Presley alive? Absolutely. I would testify it in a court of law. Graceland allowed public viewing of Elvis's body before the funeral, and attendees noted his remarkably youthful appearance, and many said he looked identical to a wax figure. There's endless coincidences that suggest Elvis may have faked his death, but if that's the case, where is Elvis now? And the real question, who is Elvis Presley now? Forget about Elvis, I want to see Jesus. <laughs> you know, forget about all these other people, I want to see Jesus. Why are you doing what you're doing? And I say, I used to do it with my legs a lot, but now I'm up my arms and shoulders. A little bit after that, yeah. Do you ever feel communication with your father? Do you ever feel the channeling? <clears throat> Some people claim that they feel their father or their mother departed around them. Mm. I don't know. You know, you know, I mean, if I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't want to answer. I gave him my house, I gave him my car, I gave him my family, I gave him my money, I gave him my land, I gave him my cattle, I gave him my dog, my cat, I gave him everything I got. That was the most important thing in his life, that money. Jesus walked up to him, looked in his eyeballs, he said, follow me. All the people standing around, the line of mud, the lines and lines of people, but wait, he left his life behind. No matter how much people think they have, they have nothing. Whatever you think you have is nothing! Bob Joyce allegedly attended the funeral of Lisa Marie Presley, the daughter of the legendary Elvis Presley. Upon her passing, reports circulated claiming his presence at the somber event, adding a mysterious aura to the already solemn occasion. However, the exact nature of his connection to the Presley family, or the circumstances surrounding his attendance, remains shrouded in speculation and intrigue. Many have remarked on the uncanny likeness between the faces of Elvis Presley and Bob Joyce. From their jaw lines to their eyes, the resemblance is undeniable. Some have even joked that they could be long lost relatives. It's truly remarkable how much they look alike. There was this one time when he accidentally called himself Elvis, but he quickly corrected himself, almost like he stumbled over his words. It was a funny moment and he just laughed it off. It made everyone around him wonder if there was more to the connection between him and the king of rock and roll. They both share a strong devotion to their faith. Elvis Presley and Bob Joyce are known for their deep religious beliefs, which have been a significant part of their lives. Their spirituality is something they hold dear and often talk about with reverence. Bob has the same gap between his teeth that Elvis had before he got a tooth cap when he was younger. It's like a little feature that connects them even more. People notice it and sometimes comment on how it reminds them of Elvis's iconic smile. When Bob sings, it's like listening to Elvis Presley himself. Their voices sound so alike that it's almost eerie. Bob has this incredible ability to capture the essence of Elvis's voice, making his performances truly unforgettable. It's like experiencing a blast from the past whenever he takes the stage. There have been whispers about Bob Joyce being spotted with one of Elvis Presley's earliest girlfriends. It's connecting Bob to Elvis's romantic history. People wonder about the stories they might share and the memories they hold dear from those legendary days. It's a fascinating link between two iconic figures. 
makes you wonder why is Bob hanging out with Elvis's early girlfriend. There isn't a single photo of Bob Joyce until many years after Elvis passed away. It's like he emerged from the shadows, adding to the mystery surrounding him. People speculate about his life before he became known, wondering what he was doing during those unseen years. It's as if he appeared out of nowhere, sparking curiosity and intrigue among fans of both him and Elvis. Bob Joyce was spotted at Elvis Presley's iconic home, Graceland, on Christmas night. It was a moment filled with nostalgia and wonder, as if the spirit of Elvis lingered in the air. People couldn't help but wonder about the connection between Bob and the legendary singer, especially on such a significant occasion. It added another layer to the enigma surrounding Bob Joyce and his ties to the king of rock and roll. Despite speculation and rumors, Bob Joyce has denied any connection to Elvis Presley in a rather peculiar manner. When asked about it, he simply responded, I'm Bob Joyce, and I always will be. It's an intriguing response that neither confirms nor denies the speculation, leaving people even more curious about the truth behind his relationship with the king of rock and roll. It's as if there's a secret hiding behind those words, waiting to be uncovered. See for yourself in the video where Bob Joyce would respond to allegations, but never once was Elvis Presley mentioned. Uh, certain issues come up lately. Um... And I want to settle it. I, Bob Joyce, am not, nor ever have been, any other person but me. I am not trying to lead people to believe, make them believe that I'm somebody that I'm not, to make people believe that I'm somebody that I'm not. I am no other person. I could name some names here, there, but you know, I'm supposed to be at least one of three different people. I got to be one of them, I can't be myself. I've got to be one of those guys. In other words, he was not gonna give satisfaction to some jerk out there that was trying to point the finger and say, this is all about money and you're just all about trying to scam people and make money for yourself. Paul said, I'm not gonna have that. I want you to know that this is not for money, but it's for the sake of Jesus Christ. I live in a little poor house, I'm a poor man. <laughs> I, I drive a 12-year-old truck and my wife drives an 11-year-old car. So, you know, we're not trying to make money. We're trying to preach the gospel and be a blessing to others. And if people come here for any other reason than that, then you're coming for the wrong reason. We're not here to support a man. We're here to support Jesus Christ. I want to make that very clear. I am not anybody else but who I am. And now the case is closed. It's over with. It's done. It's finished. It's through. It's done. It's over with. I don't want to hear no more about it from anybody. Amen? Amen. Is that all right with everybody? Amen. Okay, God bless you. Amen. At the end of the day, whether Bob Joyce is Elvis Presley or not, let's all respect his privacy and respect his message. He's trying to give the world. If he truly is your king, would you really want to expose his identity as he preaches gospel? So to answer the question, is Bob Joyce Elvis Presley? The world may never know, but Bob has never claimed to be Elvis, and it's all just coincidence that made rumors spark. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you love Elvis Presley.